remember to stick to the fundamentals in your well-being. Uh, you know, one of the things that uh, is pretty prevalent is that it's easy to constantly forget about nutrition, sleep, and exercise. Three key pillars of self-care is to make sure that you're getting enough sleep so that you feel rested, so you can actually have the mental capacity to take on the next day. Um, exercise to keep your body moving, limber, stretched, your digestion improves, um, you know, you increase the blood flow, uh, you increase your mental clarity. And when you think about nutrition, it's thinking about like, what do you actually fuel your body with? Um, you know, think about it just like a high performance sports car, what goes in determines the performance of what comes out. You know, a high performance car is never going to, should not ever put in regular fuel because it's not going to run well. It's not meant to be running on regular fuel and, and neither are you. Like if you actually have a desire to operate and perform at your best, um, you want to fuel yourself with the best stuff possible. And it doesn't mean you have to buy everything organic, but you know, become more conscious about what you put in your body and understand how it affects you. Uh, so today's video, to be honest with you, I just want to make it pretty short, just share with you a reminder about, um, you know, the importance of both, uh, you know, keeping mental resilience requires you um, looking after yourself in uh, three key areas around your fitness, um, your sleep and your nutrition. And you can, if you can just practice the fundamentals, you're not like, they'll never go away as far as uh, importance goes in your life in developing mental resilience. Uh, so, you know, today in Canada, it's a long weekend, um, you know, get outside, go for a walk and you know, get some fresh air. Uh, I don't know where you're at right now, um, but hopefully the weather is pretty decent. And even if you can just get out for a short period of time, still go do that. Um, you know, catch up on some sleep this weekend. If you get a chance to take a nap, take a nap. Uh, if you find yourself looking to go to bed a bit earlier, you know, my <laughs> phrase of the one of the tools inside the resilience toolbox is hit the lights for that purpose, just to hit the lights and go to bed. And then the third piece around uh, nutrition is titled control your diet. And it's just to remind, remind yourself, like have some self-control over uh, what you're choosing to put in. And you can, you know, some, a conversation I've literally had with somebody else is like when you're driving down the streets, like you can see the fast food place or you can see the grocery store. You can go through the fast food drive through or you can walk into the grocery store and pick something up out of their pre-made meals, which at least will be a little bit better than what's at the, at the uh, fast food place. So... Um, it takes you an extra couple minutes. It might require you to walk 100 feet versus just drive through, which is, of course, pretty easy. But um, three simple strategies this weekend, you know, um, get out for a walk, take a nap, walk into the grocery store versus going through the drive through. Uh, hope that serves as a quick reminder today to uh, stick to the fundamentals when you're trying to develop your mental resilience. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow with uh, a better video. So I hope this still gave you a bit of a reminder. Catch you guys soon.